Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be drawing um, Ref Warden Stellan and the Ageless Champion. I know in my first Ageless video I said that I'd never draw the champion style, but <laughs> here I am. I thought it would be interesting. <laughs> when I first saw Ref Warden Stellan, I was like, is that a girl? I'm sure everyone said that, but like, yeah. This this picture was surprisingly difficult to draw. I took like the entire afternoon trying to get the pose perfect and I ended up watching a winged canvas video about complicated poses and that really helped. I'll link the video in the description. Yeah. So. I'm really excited. Oh my goodness. The moment I saw the skin, I was just like, I have to draw that. Little did I know that the pose was going to be extremely difficult. He has a really cool design. Oh my goodness. The pose, the armor has so many hands, and you know how hands are the bane of every artist's existence. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> when I saw the Earthbound quest and it said Stellan, the first thing I thought of was. Stellan Geos? He's a Jedi Master. I have a lot to talk about, but I don't. Um. Yeah, I. I think this turned out really well. I say that with every drawing. <laughs> Isn't there like Jazza merch that has that? Like. Jazza has merch that said, I think this turned out really well. Or I like how this turned out. Yeah. I've had, I have so many references. <sighs> I had to use so many references. It was it was really difficult. But like yeah, I really like this. So um so uh The colouring was fun. The colouring was actually the easiest part. <laughs> yeah, so, um, say it's not one of my videos unless I say that <laughs> I'm thinking about making tutorials is the first print product and now on to the ageless champion here it is the ageless champion it was fun drawing him be difficult but it really wasn't. The hardest part was probably trying to figure out where the arms go Ho, oh, and drawing the sword but otherwise it wasn't that hard. I thought drawing the helmet would be difficult but with the mirror tool it was so much fun. <laughs> You'll see that in a moment. drawing the sword, literally had to go on the Fortnite wiki to figure out what the sword was called. <laughs> Ended up not even knowing what it was after looking at the wiki, so I had to go in-game to figure out what it was called so that I could Google it. 
I'm not was weird. But yeah, I'm lazy, I traced it. Also because I didn't want to draw it freehand because I never get it perfectly right. So yeah, this also ended up really well. I love how I actually made the armor look shiny. You'll see that when I color it. Drawing it was really fun. You can't see it here, but I'm using the mirror tool in Ibis Paint. It was really fun. Mm -hmm. I didn't use the mirror tool on like the arms because like they're not in the same spot, but like otherwise. I use the mirror tool for basically everything else, including the line art, which really helped. <laughs> I didn't use the mirror tool to color it in, if you're wondering. Is using the mirror tool cheating? I, I want to know, is using the mirror tool cheating? I don't think it is. I think it's just a cool tool to use. So, um, I've been doing this thing where I put like a thick outline on the edge of the picture to make it really pop. You can see it here. Coloring was fun, easy. Why is it that the coloring is the easiest part? The part that took the least amount of time. I'll show you how I color things one day. Maybe, I don't really know. So uh, here is the finished product and the shout out emoji and I will see you in the next video. Bye!